full believer that like you know it takes money like investing in yourself uh in order to get to where you want to be so for me like man your 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 consultation was like so cheap uh, um and i was like man like well like people invest in themselves with boot camps all different type of things but like like i was like man like this guy he can help me get the job or at least give me the methodology or the ideas like how the processes of like how to do it and so i was like well and if i don't like it i could unsubscribe <laughs> yeah and that's i mean that's pretty much it now as, as a, that's, that structure is a little bit different now but uh definitely you know and we're gonna we're gonna get into that because i've talked about you plenty of times not necessarily your name but telling people like hey you know you're you're complaining about this uh, but you know because w- one thing is those people believe in it if you believe in investing in yourself they're cool because the issue comes in people always want to complain i could have been charging ten dollars and somebody would complain that it, it's not free and i'm like look i don't have as much time so my you're paying for my expertise and time but a lot of people not understanding that how much i spend on school right like if i was to charge some of that that price you know what i'm saying people are getting way more value than i ever really got out of school from the simple stuff that i tell people to do and i, I always tell people hey if you just come in be coachable and listen to me you will be successful you might not get to the end goal then you might just get a stepping stone roll but you can still take that same stuff and apply it right right and right. to be honest like um, i would have paid i would have paid a hundred dollars man a month to book with you but what i know now like i would have paid that much because yeah. did you you got it did you look around before you booked? no i didn't i didn't have any like idea okay. about any like anything about console you know like having a consultant or anything like that nobody to really like i just knew what i wanted to do and i was like well i was mm-hmm. like you know like man like you know we man we paid money for you to be courses all day long <laughs> like, <laughs> and i'm like right. yeah I, I got a person i actually talk to i can actually communicate with i can actually bounce ideas off of and to be honest, it is what, you know, you get in what you put in too, like in a sense of like, you know, you got to put forth the effort. And so I just needed somebody to, to guide me and to kind of give me um, the idea, you know, of like, how do you, how do you do this? You know, you've been where I haven't and like you've paid your own way. Like, how can I pay my way, you know? Yeah, man. And, and definitely this guy right here, guys, if, if y'all watching, oh, we, man, look, we are so far into the, the session. I even told you, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, subscribe on the podcast feed, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Google Podcasts, you name it. But this guy, I'm going to brag on him a little bit. He's one of the people that I, like, I always still consider like some of my favorite past clients. It's about, I have like a top three right now, really, of, of, of you guys. Right now, the women are beating us, like two women <laughs> to one man. So I need another guy to come in there. Uh, so, whoa, I mean, you know what? It might be four of y'all. Like, you know, I don't, honestly, it's crazy. I said this year, I'm going to keep track of like who all I help. Last year, I didn't keep track. I just was just happy, you know, I, I could help somebody. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I'm just as happy when people would say, hey, they got an offer as I'm getting an offer, you know? Uh, just because, you know, I, I, I know how it feels to go from, you know, we're going, you know what? We gonna, I'm jumping the gun. So, this is what we're going to do. All right, boom. So, you book with me. From the time you book with me, how long? And look, guys, he ain't got no script or nothing. <laughs> He's going to be honest. This is and actually uh, <laughs> testimonial time. Let me hit the air horn real quick. Uh, <laughs> look, but then when, from when you book with me, how long, approximately, how long did it take you that you end up in the role you're in now? Man, I think it took me like a week. Uh, in two weeks to seal the deal like with like how- right and and at the time what did you pay I paid 30 dollars <laughs> I paid 30 bucks and and how much more did you get paid at your job over what you was getting paid man I would probably 40 grand I was like oh 40 grand maybe yeah 40 so and what I was telling people is the fact that, like, 
I, I was I told I said I had a person you know pay the money to book with me, and they only needed one month, and they returned on the investment. I don't even know. I still don't even know how to calculate like what you got out of that. But I was like to pay that, or even you know, if, even if it would have been more, but the fact to get that much out of it. That's why I tell people. I was like, just invest in yourself and it'll pay off. But do your due diligence. Don't just book with me because I said book with me. Yeah. Look at my consistency and my track record, my reviews, what I say. Um, I don't know if you're on Twitter, but now I've been like in different Twitter spaces, and I've become this this person that stands on integrity when it comes to getting that field because unlike some other job roles i take security serious i don't you know i, I don't jokingly tell people hey you come book with me i'm gonna have to get a six-figure job i don't tell people any of that stuff because the simple fact is that i need the person next to be to know what they're doing or have the aptitude to know how to do it if not then in security most of the time your week is sleeker it's your people so that's why i take it serious i've been through breaches i know how it is when people mess up and you hopefully you know y'all not getting fired that's the part people don't really talk about a lot and um it can be really it can be very interesting the time and stuff you got to spend and stay up because you're down three people or you have clients that's been hit with ransomware so now you doing it or making sure your team didn't then miss the alert, man. It's a lot of stuff that goes into that. So it's just crazy. But let me also brag on this guy because from day one, boom, he booked. We had our call. I made my uh, recommendations for him to fix his resume. He did his resume on his own. That's the one thing. Another thing, I don't push people to do their resume. Actually, now I have a resume and LinkedIn service, like just by itself. Sometimes I tell people now, I was like, look, you may be close enough to where I don't even need to do your resume. Just do the resume review service. And if you need a new resume, then I'll just take money off of what you paid from that. Uh, so he wasn't far off. He found some templates or something he found online or however he created it. And, you know, with the suggestions I made in that, you know, he and them started getting some interviews, you know, and then he took it a step further. I told him, hey, network on his LinkedIn, do talk about this and that. And this all happened within a week, guys. He takes it a step further and decides to make a video about me, of just like they'll ask you in an interview, like why he chose to get into cybersecurity, his passion, and why he likes it. And I feel like that helped him the most. I don't know if any of the interviewers ever saw that, but the fact that he did that, something I didn't tell him, I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna be successful. So I wasn't too shocked when he found out when I found out he got the job offer, and he pretty much actually came in more qualified than most of the people that, at that company that they ever hired. Um, so that's me bragging on you and telling that's why I tell people I have a clip it's like if you want to be successful with me come in ready to work and you'll be successful I haven't had anybody who hadn't really just not executed at the highest level not be successful with 